And one day, walking around inside the camp, I see this girl coming down the road. And then she stopped and she grabbed in the handbag and she threw, it, threw an apple over, the, over all these fences. She, maybe she's coming back the next morning. I better get ready for her. So I wrote a little note um, on it asking her if she could help me to make contact with my family. And as sure as hell she comes down, comes down the road again, just about the same time. This time I was ready. So she, she saw me standing there, she waved. And I threw the stone. The next time she came down the fence, this is now on the weekend, and I look up and there she comes down the road with an older couple and a little boy and a few other people. I'm Patricia, this is my mom, and this is my dad, and so on and so on. By that time the guards were coming. Oh my God, you should, I mean, this was a high security camp. Two wires with a walkway in between, dogs. If you come within three feet, you get shot. And the father, now just think of this, he said, uh, can you come over tonight? And I said, yes, sir, me, yes, sir, in a high security camp. I said, yes, I gave a promise. I have to get out of this. There's no chance, no way you're going to do it. Well, 40 guys spent a few hours, figure, there were 40 brains working on how do we get this guy out of the camp. A lot of guys around. God standing around said, what's going on? Why do I have to come to the gate? And then suddenly they opened and there was Patricia. He listened after the story. This British commandant organized, dressed me so that I could get out of the camp and got, the, um, uh, got into the hut on the beach, given my word of honor. I'll be back the next morning. We'll be still be there. And they picked me up. And in that time, we both of us, after the, 